So a while ago, a doctor recommended that I try to do the DASH diet. And uh, I did a couple little things out of it, but I but, uh, didn't stick to it. And then uh, more recently, a doctor told me to try the Mediterranean diet. And so the nutritionist, uh, when I talked to her, I mentioned the DASH diet. And so she recommended this book written by a lady doctor called... Uh, the Dash Diet Mediterranean Solution. And uh, I've lost about 15 pounds on it and my health is just uh, just better doing it. And uh, you, you don't have to don't have to go hungry. Um, I, I think I'm finding I just I just ate a salad with olive oil and vinegar on it and I'm finding that uh, you really can get a satisfied feeling from uh, from the fats. In, in olive oil with the good fats. So avocado, olive oil, salmon, those are the fats that, that you really wanna emphasize and uh, you wanna de-emphasize the carbohydrates. Uh, but, but she says that carbohydrates and fats and proteins are all uh, macronutrients that you're supposed to have, but you're supposed to have them together so your blood sugar stays consistent and that uh, a lot of Americans, we end up getting fat around our belly and, and that that's an indicator of, of uh, starting to get insulin resistance. And uh, Anyway, I really, really uh, think the book was helpful. Uh, it has helped me some. If I can stick with it, I think it'll make a big difference for me. And, uh, and I think most of you can probably guess where I am today. I'm finding that if I pack a uh, good cooler that I can bring a lot of uh, fresh fruits and vegetables with me. And I always keep uh, little pouches of tuna and that's another one of the good fats uh, with me. And uh, real big emphasis on fruits and vegetables. When I, when I started it, before I did the book, I got olives and uh, those are fun, but that's not a big, uh, big part of it. And uh, pizza is not as much a part of it.